Hi, it's Freeland. Freeland! Our guy Freeland! What's going on? <laughs> What's up, y'all? We're so excited to talk to you again after an Eagles victory! Woo! Go Birds! Yes, yes, yes. We like to think you were a big part of it. I mean, you in the divisional round, you sang the national anthem and did a halftime show performance. We talked to you before, and you were just so humbled and so blessed to be given this opportunity. But how did it feel out there? Were you nervous? How fun was it? Yeah, um, you know, it was, it was exactly the opportunity that I thought it was, uh, you know, just being able to be in front of a hometown crowd. I think the biggest uh, lesson learned is that Halftime performances are inherently, like, a little awkward because, <laughs> you know, like, people aren't coming there for a concert, which is, like, the national anthem. People know they're going to hear an anthem. Right. Like, they're prepared for it. Like, they're very engaged. They'll sing along with you. You sing during halftime, and people are like, yo, bring the game back, you know. But right. It was, <laughs> uh, you know, but it was fun. Uh, and the crowd, you know, gave, gave some energy. I gave some energy. And obviously it was a great game to be performing at, which we led the whole time and it was never really in jeopardy. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was, it was just a great day. Like really one of the, one of the best days I've had in a while. So Aww. I have to say, we've heard a lot of anthems, but Breland, I mean, you just nailed it. You put your flair on it and it was beautiful. And I can't even imagine the anxiety though, that you must've felt walking out into that stadium Right with seventy thousand people looking at you, and you and and Eagles fans, right? Eagles yeah. fans looking at you. So you know, ninety nine percent of them are like, "I can't wait to hear him screw up." Right? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, yeah, the anthem can be can be pretty brutal, especially when you're doing it, you know, totally solo, a cappella, no no backing track or yeah. anything. Uh, you know, because you're responsible for setting your own key, and, and singers know this. When you start the anthem, the key is really, uh, you know, you have to start low right uh, it because gets it, it high. yeah it gets up there <laughs> and i think a lot of times people make the the rookie mistake of starting mm -hmm. it in a place that feels comfortable not realizing it's going to go up a whole octave right so i you know i tried i tried to bring uh you know tried to tried to know where where exactly i needed to put it i felt like i put it in a really good key it made it easy uh, to get up to the the big notes that everyone waits on, and <laughs> if anyone had been <laughs> had been hoping that I was gonna mess up, I, I didn't. Right. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, I will say you sounded incredible. We listened to it. Now, Breland, fun fact: I've sang the national anthem at a professional sporting event at at a Cleveland Indians game, actually, at the, when they were the Indians, and yeah. I, it was the most nerve wracking performance ever. And <laughs> <laughs> because you, all of a sudden you think, I might forget the words, right? right? Even yeah, at your like, halftime show, right? Is it, is it right? gleaming? Is it gleaming? You know, like, right. <laughs> it's Real not quick. like normal English, you know? Just a little inside baseball. What key did you sing it in? Um, I'd have to go back and check, but I I was shooting to do it in C. So C I'm, major. I'm it's a high G, Andy. That. That's a high G on yeah. the back end. That's, That's ridiculous. That's what I was thinking. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Andy's like, all right, nerds. I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So who was there yeah. from your family and friends? Um, my sister, both of my parents, uh, and then a couple of my coworkers, my tour manager, Jad, and my creative mm. director, Nada. We had a great time. Oh, my God. But the, the, the best moment was right after the anthem was over, uh, head coach Sirianni came over and, and dapped me up and was like, great <gasps> job. And I was like, no! <laughs> are you kidding me? Yeah, it was, uh, you know, and it, it felt great having done both of those performances in such a dominant game. You know, we, mm -hmm. people thought we were going to win by, you know, 10 to 12 points, I think was the line, like 13 points maybe. We won by 31 points. Like, that's <laughs> a, you really can't ask for a, for a better one to, to be singing at. And I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see what happens this week as well. Amazing. Okay. So, all right. So you got to interact with Sirianni, which is amazing. Um, was there anybody else, like any other teammates that you talked to, or were there any other celebrities in the crowd that you got to rub elbows with? Um, yeah, I got to meet a few players from uh, when I was a kid, Brian Westbrook. Uh, I think it was uh, Malcolm Jenkins was there, Tori Smith from our Super Bowl team, Brett Selleck. Uh, and then on the current roster, uh, I met uh, – 
I met Jordan Mylotta, offensive mm-hmm. lineman, who also is a, is a singer himself. Yeah. And, and he, uh, he told me I did a good job. And Kiki Palmer was there, eight oh months my pregnant. No way. Uh, and I got a chance to, to meet her as well. I think there's a picture of us somewhere. I'm a big, big Kiki Palmer fan ever since Aquila and the Bee. So, oh, classic. That's so cool. You know, yeah, it was, it, was, it was just a good day all the way around. Uh, had a chance to you know, connect with, with my own family and watch the game as we always do, but with, you know, better circumstances. <laughs> For sure. That is so beautiful. I just, hometown guy, Breland, and we're just so proud of you. I know. I, for we lack really of a better are. term. Like, it's so cool. When we heard that you were singing it, we freaked out. <laughs> Both of us were losing <laughs> our minds. Thank you. Yeah, I, I was also freaking out. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine. Um, so, okay, trying to fill your shoes for the Super Bowl, we just got word that Chris Stapleton is going to be singing the national anthem, which is amazing, right? Wow. Okay, I already know. I already know he's going to kill that. Right. And, um, <laughs> it's pretty dope now that two years in a row that they've, well, I guess three, actually, if you count uh, Eric Church the year before, I think three yeah. years in a row that they've had a country act singing the anthem, right? Absolutely. Yeah. This is a, this is no surprise to us because we love country music so much, but you know, these stars yourself included, there's so much crossover. Chris Stapleton's got that rock vibe in him. You've got your R and B vibe in you too. I mean, it's, it's really special to see people like you and our other country stars on the main stage on these big moments. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to pay close attention because hopefully I'll I'll have the opportunity in the next couple of years to, to do that. You know, that would be, that would be something. That would well, I'll tell you what, you just keep doing what you're doing because you're doing it all right, Vreeland. We love you. We're so excited for you. Um, I don't do do you have any keys for the game coming up this weekend? Mm-hmm. Anything uh <laughs> Coach Breland here can uh inform <laughs> yeah. us on? Yeah, I would say, you know, try to try to get pressure on Brock Purdy, you know, make him uncomfortable uncomfortable early. Don't let him get any any easy shots to George Kittle and Ayuk and Debo Samuel, and and hopefully we can we can put together a nice little game plan. Let's do it. So you can totally tell that Breland is a football fan. Like yeah. he's not reading anything here. Right, right, right. <laughs> he's like counting the X's and O's right now. We love it. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. Oh, you're the best. You're the best. So keep up the great work, Breland. We love you, bud. Have a good one.